am I going to plug this in? All right. So if you come into this problem, you've got three fans, you want to plug them in, and you figure out your motherboard doesn't have the system fan headers that you need to do it with. So what are you going to do? Let's find out. So in case you don't know what a system fan header is for, it is simply a place to plug in your fans that you're going to put on your case or something like that. This is what it looks like. Typically, on like on this motherboard, it's red. Typically, either white or sometimes black. Just depends on the motherboard manufacturer. Okay, so just to provide some information, this connector here is a 3-pin. And as I showed you before, the system fan header is a 4 so, you see that little red tab on the back here? I know it's hard to see, but that's a little clip. So when you connect your, this here, there's a little connector. Okay, so you see that little connector? That's going to go over top to align with that little tab. So you already got three. So you're going to have an empty one on the back because it's not a four pin. It's a three pin. You have a four pin, it'll occupy the whole space, no problem. But back to our original question, what happens when you get a motherboard that doesn't have enough fan headers? Well, you got a couple of different options. One is a fan splitter, which simply divides one into two. But what if that's not enough? What if you need more? Well, that's what this video is about. Okay, so one of the things I was trying to solve, and the reason for this video, is you need a way to have more fan headers that will work with your motherboard. You can buy a mini ITX, micro ITX, and typically when you buy those, you're not gonna have that many fan headers. But you might buy a case that's got the ability to have a whole bunch of fans, and it's just gonna look fantastic, and then you realize you don't have any place to plug them in. So that's what this is about. It's, it's Deep Cool's FH04. Basically, it's a fan hub. So we're gonna get it out, have a look at it, and I'll tell you about it. So quickly getting it out of the box, you've got your little instructions. Tells you what it is. And basically shows you how it goes together. And it's pretty simple. So let's have a look. Here's our product. And you can see where you've got three system fan headers. Right? And of course on here, on the other end, You've got the one that's going to plug into the one spare ones that you do have on your motherboard. So if you have none, take one out, plug this into the motherboard, and then plug the other one on here, and then you have extra spots to plug it into. Okay? Very simple. Let's show you how that's done. So just to be sure you don't short anything out, nothing happens with your system, power it off, turn it off, Make sure everything's there's no electricity going through it before you plug it in, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so once you've plugged it into your system header on your motherboard, one thing you can notice is it has an adhesive back on it. So you can peel that off, and then you can put it wherever you want inside the system. All right? So peel that off, and now you've got your different connectors. Plug in each one of them to where you want it to go, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so we plugged in our three fans. It's into the fan hub, which is right here. I didn't plug in the fan hub number one because they're all three pin fans, so you're not going to get the functionality of that. So the way it works is fan one can be obtained by BIOS or other software. But the PWM function is not available when 3-port is applied. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, right? so we plugged into our motherboard. Our fans are plugged in. So how do we know if it works? Well, simply, let's turn it on. And voila, our three fans are working. And it's also a great way to test your fans to see if the fans are going to work. 
Then of course the other thing that's nice about it is plugging them all in to test if they work or not, you can see what the fan looks like with the LED. So you've got the blue here, this is a lighter blue, and you can see how bright or otherwise that they are. And it will give you the functionality that you require and at least allow you to plug in extra fans as you need them. Now, that's not the only fan hub you can get. There's certainly others. Let's discuss. So in addition to having this small four port fan hub, Deepcool also has a 10 port. And they may have others. I just happened to notice the other one when I was in the computer shop looking around. So I've got two fans over there. And that's going to be a separate video where I talk about a little bit difference in fans. But whether you have a 3-pin or a 4-pin, this fan hub will work for it. And you shouldn't have any issues. I uh, once bought a motherboard that had like two fan headers, one of which is for the CPU. And I'm like, what the heck? So that would have fixed my problem. And it will in the future now that I know about it. And hopefully it'll fix yours. So if you're new here, think about hitting that subscribe. Hit that like if you like it. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications so you see my videos as they continue to come forward. And uh, hope that uh, helps somebody out. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.